everyone. Here, me again, talking about the double tongue game, the double staccato, whatever you call it. And we are going to continue our tutorial with the advanced exercises. So let's start with it. So hopefully you are watching this video after the first one and you have already done everything that I have talked about, uh, how to work on the staccato and the, how to use your tongue and the reed and everything. And then you started with the double staccato by saying kind of like do go do go. And then if we reach that level and, and if everything is working fine, now we start to the second part of the tutorial. So let's start with it. So you have worked on each note and you probably reach to a metronome like uh, maybe 100 or maybe 120, which would be really ideal to do that. And probably you are wondering uh, why it's not working when you play something or so. So of course we worked on each note separately and now we have to play some stuff to understand how to place it. When you do triplets and when you do 16 notes, it's different. What I mean is that if you do triolets or tri triplets, how we call it, you can say tukutu or like tukutu. I've talked about that in my previous video. It's really important to choose one and to continue with that. I use tukutu always or like tukutu. It depends on the place, depends on the notes. If there is something coming, like repeated notes, something like, you know, then I do like this and then I pass, which is like. So let's make some exercises about that. So first of all, we're working on triplets. I'm doing each note three times and I'm making a chromatic scale. So it's going to be complicated, but it's not that complicated as well. Find your way out. By practicing on each note, we try to find the sound first. But now we are working on the technical part. Don't forget that. Of course, these triplets exercises can be also done again, like differently, as I said in the previous video, tu tu ku tu tu ku. Or like ku tu tu ku tu tu. I will make another example. Do all of them at home. So we start with tu tu ku now. <laughs> try to show and I will show one another exercise that you can make with triplets uh, which is going to be kututu <laughs> So I do the chromatics, but on the 16th note. Then I do also reverse because now I did too. 
And now I do So the next exercise is going to be like uh, taking a scale. Uh, let's start with something like F major or G major. I will keep with F major right now and uh, something simple and do the scale uh, going up and down. So. <laughs> One octave I did, and now we're gonna do two. Okay, so we try to keep the quality of the sound. Okay, this is the most important thing when you do double tonguing. And the other thing is that, yeah, each note quite sounds dissimilar, like the quality, you know? Th this is really, really important. And don't forget, that when you do it slowly, it's much more difficult actually to keep the same quality of the sound. So, when you do this on each note exercises, it's to practice the double tonguing sound that I showed in the first tutorial video. Then we come to these exercises and we will see that maybe it's much easier to do actually faster. So we continue on some other exercises uh, such as F major and we take for example this I will show uh, right now we're gonna repeat each one four times and uh, we can do again one octave if everything works fine then we go to the second so I show <laughs> double staccato or staccato it's even more difficult to make them legato and the double tonguing together you know so you should work on it slower first like much slowly slower and then you make it faster not only slower also in different rhythmics so <laughs> this you know like find more exercises um, you can also do intervals you know like thirds and fourths and fifths and everything on double staccato so uh, the basic thing you have to be careful is that doing it in different tempos so please use your metronome I don't take my time to use metronome because otherwise the video will be super long uh, so please don't forget to do everything slower at first and each day try to go faster and faster so don't forget about the quality of the sound about the 
position of the tongue, about the articulations we are making, really like which word to say, which letter to use, you know, like is it to or is it do or is it do or is it, you know, please find the sweet spot. <laughs> Continue with the intervals. For example, I'm going to show on different scale right now to make another example. So let's choose something more difficult, uh, E major, for example. Do you hear? I'm doing a tiny accent on each start of the uh, other third. So it's like not exaggerate, please. I don't want to hear like no, please don't make a ugly sound. Please don't make an ugly sound. I don't want to hear an ugly sound. I just want a little push to show us the direction. And it's really this little pulse that we're giving is really helping to get it better. It's a really good practice way, please. So let's do it again. You see, it's stable because I give it like a little push, like a little tiny accent, but it's not an accent. So just don't forget that. Also, when you practice, if you're lost, if you're like rushing or if you're like putting the tempo back and stuff like this, this little tiny accent trick could help you a lot. So last exercise I would like to show you is the other thing which could be really useful for you is that put the metronome uh, on hundreds because I think after doing all of this you reach to that level to do that. This is something I did every day when I started to practice on double staccato. So I put 100 and then I did this. So, we have done the scale, we have done intervals, and we have done different type of like scale practice uh, with double tonguing. And you can always find other things to work double tongue on. And please also practice some staccato passages from some orchestral excerpts and etc. Uh, etc. Et or some concertos uh, that we where we are using a lot of staccato stuff and we really need to do it fast i'm gonna make another tutorial like a third one and to show you how to work on orchestral excerpts and this kind of like nielsen concerto and stuff like that and i'm gonna search for it more and i'm gonna show you more and i will continue with my third tutorial and uh it will be really really pro level as i mentioned on my previous video i'm giving lessons on play with a pro if you have more questions, uh, you can go on the website and reserve a lesson with me and then we can work on all of this uh, with the details there. And I am ready and here to help you uh, with any questions that you have. Also, you can go on Instagram to follow me for follow more videos and maybe it will give you some motivation and inspiration or uh, whatsoever. Uh, I really wish so. You can also subscribe to my channel because as I told you, I'm going to be posting more videos here 
uh, please don't forget to like comment and share then I can also know what you would like to see what you expect from my video what can I add to this and please write your suggestions for other videos what you'd like to learn what would like to know uh, maybe about sound technique and please write in the comment all of this then I will make some videos about all of that so I can make some music videos not only educational stuff please I'll be waiting for you guys uh, I hope you enjoy it's going to be useful for you to work on all of this and uh, have a nice practice and see you soon